exhibition upstairs in the front members room. If you haven't seen it already, I strongly urge you to go and see it. It's very exciting. It's all about the contemporary scene in Portugal at the moment. And we have this evening three uh, practices that have come over from Portugal to speak to you about the uh, current debate in ar architecture in Portugal. And tonight will be presented by Pedro Costello and uh, Gonzalo Furtado, who have curated the show. And they will introduce you to the architects. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, vamos para mim. Uh, hi, my name is Gonçalo, uh, it's Pedro Castel, and uh, our uh, invitees of today is Pedro Mauricio, Pedro Costa, and uh, Pedro Santos, and the rest of the persons that are from their offices that came also. And uh, well, wha what I thought, we didn't really prepare nothing very precise, but what I thought is that could be interesting to explain a little bit what we had in mind when we, we put the, all this material upstairs that you could see after and uh, also let's say give a chance or or try to create this opportunity for a uh, kind of a debate or with architects or uh, at least a kind of opportunity for them to chat with each other um, and that you could 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 listen so uh, I, I will try to to explain this this thing that is a little bit a paradox that is doing uh, exhibition of architecture because mediatization is such a difficult thing that in the end, uh, I think we, we fail, of course. But uh, wh what we try to do is like map the dynamics again uh, uh, of the Portuguese architectural scene. Um, so we invite these three practices uh, of young architects that are achieving um, big, let's say, uh, visibility in the country. Um, in fact, we, we, we have this idea that this Portuguese uh, architectural term is not very good. It's a kind of a label that just reference a kind of a system of production but don't really mean nothing because this thing, Portuguese architecture, don't, don't really exist. Uh, but uh, I think it's productive to use this label because uh, it uh, permits, uh, let's say, to see what happened in small uh, geographical peripheries and cultural peripheries what happen when uh, architecture have a kind of explosion uh, in a very mediatic uh, world and so on. Um, Portuguese architecture, uh, for those that have interest on, on it, was uh, being seen as, um, as uh, something linked to, to a kind of myth in in the localization or in the context or, or whatever, and mainly has been seen by this concept of uh, critical originalism or Kenneth Frampton, that uh, uh, we think that is a strange mixture of, let's say, phenology with Marxism that don't really could be applied to the contemporary moment in, in, in Portugal uh, in when we are facing, let's say, this inevitability of globalization and we are trying to, to, to have try to find challenges with it. So uh, while we really think that we c could have in Portugal, like in all peripheral, uh, let, let's say, uh, geographies, it's a kind of multi-referential practice uh, that c in which these references came from a lot of places. Um, in fact, this concept of place and these myths of places and and context that I was talking about are, are almost, let's say, I irrelevant in, in, in the present situation. Um, we could say that our statics or our, let, let's say, polit also political codes are very, um, let's say, ambiguous and very hybrid and not really linked to, to, to just one, one practice. What we also try to, to, to put in, in, in game on this exhibition was a kind of a question uh, of uh, possible, let's say, 
um, postures in front of an of a, of a institution, of an architectural institution that has become very mediatized, as I was saying. So we try to, to, to choose different perspectives where in each one uh, they try to balance different uh, ruptures and continuities in, in, in a range of topics, let's say, in the methods, in the way they, they practice, let's say, in the relations that they have with the building task, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we produce a lot of, of material that is not exhibited, uh, like interviews that you could listen, but they are in Porsche, so you will not understand. We produce texts, you, uh, we produce interviews, written interviews with some, let's say, institutional um, figures like Alvar Siza. Uh, you, you could have an extract of this interview there. And we try to combine all these elements to see uh, where we can see continuities and where we cannot. The exhibition is also was also supposed, uh, in the end it was a very big task and it, it was not possible for a lot of reasons, was also supposed to have a, a, ser a, ser a, a series of concepts um, behind each, each, each panel, behind each work that will explain precisely these continuities and ruptures. So it was not very, uh, very uh, easy, that's why I said that we fail in put it in, in place, but uh, so we thought that we could really uh, use this opportunity of talk and ch ch change some ideas to, to, to make it more, more clear. Um, I, I think, Pedro, probably you would, would like to, to explain a little bit the practice of each person and uh, also to continue to explain these criteria that they have. Yeah, so have um, I think that I will just uh, do also a small introduction about this idea of port portraying the um, this is the Portuguese scenario. And what is interesting for us is to see that um, inside probably something that, that can constitute an identity, uh, there is lots of di diversity as well. And um, we were try trying to, to catch this diversity as, as much as possible with three completely three, dif uh, or th three different practices, completely um, separated in probably in terms of um, you know, space or um, in the, the way they approach um, the project, the process, and eventually even the distance between some dates, the dates where they are born. And, but what's interesting is also to, for us was in catching the, trying to catch the, the young Portuguese architecture is that they are they're becoming quite visible and this is very particular in the in the in the, Port in the Portuguese context as well as other peripheral uh, countries, um, and for several reasons. And one of one of one of them is uh, that the older generations they somehow prepare the territory or the the space for this new generation have um, like have the possibility to practice uh, and to to build something effectively. And um, and also because and because they 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 gave this space through the through the schools or even um, through the schools or even in the way they they try to open uh, the architectural discipline to the society in general and uh, and this visibility also comes um, because they have somehow um, they had the possibility mm -hmm. to go. To other schools and to um, to see other things, and especially and and bring this this knowledge into in, into Portugal, and um, so I'll, maybe I'll, st I'll start presenting them, and we'll have here with us um, Pedro Mauricio Borges, and uh, he was born uh, in '63, and is um, he was he took he finished his degree in uh, Lisbon. In the technical university, and since that, since then he, he has been um, practicing in uh, Azores uh, and at Lied Bougiu, and uh, settle, he settled his own office in '93. And uh, I think it's interesting to mention that he was already um, uh, seated in the architectural uh, history of Kenneth Frampton, and in 2003 won the Cecil uh, National Prize. 
and he has been a lecturer in, as a project uh, on project design at the Faculty of Science and Technology uh, in Coimbra, another important um, center of discussion and debate uh, of architecture in Portugal. Uh, do you want to say something? Yeah. No, I would like also to say something about uh, about Pedro Mauricio. That uh, well, we have a lot of things in common. Like we bought, we live in the same lived in the same small uh, city in the country. So it was something that I realized when I was interviewing him and so on. But what I, what I want to to say about Pedro that I think is important to understand their work that you would identify with a lot of Portuguese, let's say, mainstream architecture. Is that, is that this is not mainstream at all. So, in fact, Pedro last year won um, probably won one or, or one of the most famous uh, national prizes, but uh, it was a very, I could say, very polemic, this, this award. Uh, in, in fact, he used, you could explain later, but he used the same, let's say, continuity, uh, the, main, the same sensi sensitivity to the place and so on and so on. But, uh, it, in my point of view, I think he contraposed, let's say, a lot of humility as, as a, an architect to the elitist, let's say, of the, of the main, mainstream or the elitist that normally the mainstream uh, have. But in, in, in fact, he achieved like, the same result, but, but uh, trying to avoid, let's say, the, this uh, over-determination that the mainstream have when they are designing. I think this, this, this lack of obsession Oh, and these humanities, like the most important thing, and that's why it was so polemic the prize because it was given by the mainstream, but was a kind of a of a of a um recado. Uh, uh, well, it was like a message of the mainstream to the mainstream itself. So. And. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so I'll, I'll advance to the Atelier. to Atelier de Sanch. They, uh, they also have been constructing quite a lot. And of course, I think it's important to say that uh, this has, to, I think, a lot to do with uh, the fact that Portugal entered the European Union recently. And it's not by chance that maybe here in the, at the AA we had the exhibition also called Ljubljana, that is also a prefer preferable country that shares m uh, a lot of uh, of the conditions uh, of work uh, at, with Portugal, and um, and so th this gives the possibility to. There was a period where people were doing lots of competitions, and this was uh, open to the to the young to the younger generation, and uh, several of them, and inclusively the ones representing and we invited here to, to be here today in in this exhibition. They also. Uh, Started their 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 architectural practice um, with this uh, important factor that was the participation in uh, in, the, in these competitions, and um, and as example of this uh, we have actually um, the Lille Saint. They won important competitions uh, since they well since they actually they started in ninety seven. They opened the, the basically their office with uh, the University of Açores. Uh, and uh, they they both graduated in, Por in Porto and in '96, and they studied abroad as well in Delft and in, Nieder in, the, in the Netherlands. And uh, they worked also with prestigious architects inside because it's important also this relation they that is somehow easy to maintain this straight collaboration with prestigious architects. There is uh, lots of practices uh, to work with. And they work with India in the atelier of Manuel Vicente and uh, uh, Manuel Gracia Diaz and Agus Suevieira. Um, and they just they won several projects in, in, in meantime, and they have some of them there uh, under construction. And for instance, we can mention Ponte Delgado uh, Urban Parks Auditorium and Cafeteria, uh, or Cafe, renovation of the Duque de Bragança Lane. Uh, the Laranjeiras University Accommodation or the University of Azores Library mm -hmm. that I mentioned already. So um, this, this uh, is quite uh, impressive and um, made us 
uh, invite them to be here. And they also, the, they, they were present in Portugal at the Biennale of Venice this year. Um, yes. Mm. Yeah, this is very important. It's like when, when they, well, in fact, Atelier de Sense is Pedro and Celia, that is this beautiful lady that it's here. And now I think they, it's another person, the child is also a clear center. And uh, uh, well, and they are very young, but they are very visible in the country and they are representing in Venice, like Pedro was saying, but also in, the, in, in another international uh, events, uh, recent events. Uh, and what is interesting is that they begin to work, as Pedro was saying, in other places, but soon they won a, a, a um, a lot of con uh, competitions where they end, I don't know, for or something. And they, so they have to be in the office in, in a very quick way. What I think is, is interesting in, in Atelier de Sense is like it can be seen as a, as a very balanced practice in the country. Uh, and normally the critic, I, I, I think I, I spoke once with you about it, the critic of see it as a, a practice with a wish or a desire of mediatization because they use uh, very powerful images and so on. But in, f in fact, um, the statics, as they explain me, are not the beginning of the work. Well, they, have, they work with the same pragmatism like the Pedro Mauricio, for instance, a country where uh, they don't really have a lot of technology and so on. Uh, and they will work in a very far, let's say, very far context is in Iceland in the middle of the Alt Atlantic where they could not really control in a very strong way the building. So the chooses that they made aesthetically are always uh, very simple and trying to follow an idea and that's why the result of the buildings are so crude, so aggressive sometimes and it of course appears in images uh, that way. But uh, aesthetization is a kind of a result of this pragmatism, conceptual pragmatism much more than a uh, uh, the initiation of, of the process. Um, well, in fact, Pedro also said in this in these interviews that are not translate that uh, in fact they don't really have an idea uh, a language. The two works that we choose are very similar, but there are a lot of contemporary works that they are making that they have a very let's say distinct uh, languages, and I think it's also very interesting to to see how persons that are beginning are able to, to, res to continue to research in the office and so on. Mm -hmm. So I now pass to the, <coughs> to the AUZ or house project. Uh, and they, they basically, the, the thing that made us uh, bring them here was the fact that somehow they represent mm -hmm. um, a very, very young generation as well. But even younger than the, the ones who we talked about before. And okay. the, the way they use, for instance, like uh, through uh, computer I uh, images uh, and they create, the way they create like surreal landscapes and they, the excellency of these images that is somehow contaminated with, um, with a, a critical aspect, with um, charged with, with extreme irony. And, and at the same time that uh, Somehow that links to the other to the to the other practices, uh, a, a conscious or a, an awareness of um, something that is possible to build, and they have been um, winning, uh, winning also uh, se uh, several competitions uh, with a reinterpretation of uh, basically the same theme of uh, this house that that uses the, the, the mechanisms of the institution and the, or the capitalistic society we live in and, um, <coughs> and that Portugal is uh, also a victim and, uh, and the way they use it to create um, home, um, home, uh, um, for the ho homes for the homeless people uh, using the, this uh, outdoors um, displays for commercial activities or um, in projects of this nature, and somehow, and with this extremely rich landscape and imagery, and this is what made us uh, bring, basically, uh, present them, uh, pre present their work here. So, uh, um, and Pedro Santos is next to me. So maybe I will start now um, with a few questions. <coughs> but I'll, maybe I'll go around, 
and going back somehow to talk about their their, uh, their projects and we presented here um, some some projects from Pedro Mari Swartz um, that reveal the the, faci or the, the, the 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 mechanism used to to project in a very w good way also especially because it's the, pl the place uh, for these projects is a very special place. There is the island of Assurge. And, um, and where we can see that there is an extreme uh, sense, uh, uh, consideration with the site and program. And, um, and how this becomes like a model of operandi to, to build the shape of the architecture uh, itself. And, um, I don't know if uh, I think I will make start making then questions. If you, uh, how do you see the, the, the increasing that the increasing transformation of our territory? Uh, if you still see uh, in it a potential way of um, approaching architecture uh, and giving shape to things. <coughs> <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't know if you agree with this uh, interpretation uh, we made of your work, saying that site and program, um, more or less, landscape, they become a, like no, the words, starting point. Of course, words are uh, tricky. Mm -hmm. It's very funny that I, I go, I cannot um, uh, help saying this. I, I came here and I saw uh, the exhibition of Lacaton and Vassal. Uh, and Lacaton, uh, she has uh, these words on the um, on the wall, mm -hmm. where she say she says that they start th that they do architecture from the inside to the outside, mm -hmm. that they are concerned with comfort mm -hmm. and uh, materials and the, and the sort. There's a, a, a short list of things, and at le at the end she says that the method. To to do shape with uh, with those uh, concerns is the is the economy, and I, I I read that and I and I said but uh, it's the same as uh, with me, it's quite the same. <laughs> maybe maybe she doesn't uh, maybe the word uh, um, site is not there. I don't remember. But mm -hmm. but what I read, I just thought okay, it's like me, and it is not. First, because there's a there's always a site, there's always a place, uh, and and that place can can be uh, can seem the same as everywhere else, like in a suburb. A suburb is quite the same everywhere, uh, but there's a measure on that place. There's a sun orientation, things that uh, that are local somehow. Anyway, uh, we're talking about uh, houses that were built, in fact, uh, in a boundary. If, if uh, Portugal is a, a periphery uh, place, Azores is quite more peripheric. And uh, it was a place where still you could, where time was uh, stopped uh, till maybe five years ago, where modernity didn't take place. And uh, you could see, even in the social relationship, between people, uh, the ancient times, and uh, still there are some of these, but uh, it's it's um, it's changing at a, a high speed, and uh, maybe there's an opportunity now in these times uh, changing, but um, you can see there architecture in Portugal is a little bit um, uh, a thing of uh, nouveau riche. Mm -hmm. I mean. Um, Someone who, who gets money uh, and uh, wants to show his success. I know it's uh, uh, all over like this, mm -hmm. maybe. But um, so you you want a house uh, from an architect because you want to show it that. Uh, but finally, actually, they're common people in the in the sense they they they're not um, uh, very. Um, they don't have. A Architectural, architectural culture in the way they don't know uh, the architecture that uh, that has been done, that has been doing, 
that just know architecture is um, some something that um, uh, I'm a mindful, uh, something that gives status. Yes, gives status. Yes. So in the process of doing mm -hmm. houses, they get they probably will get interested in architecture, and they'll and they'll uh, they'll um, invest in knowing something more. Uh, for instance, in one of the houses uh, that is exposed, at the end, he, he, uh, he, he thought he could have contract another architect more radical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, it was not show enough. Mm -hmm. uh, there was not architectural show enough. Or, or there could be more show. <laughs> but, but the other, for instance, of course, I think there is a transformation process in the, in the people. I'm interested in, in the people involvement in the, um, in the process, in the process uh, mainly if we're talking about uh, housing, yes. And, um, and of course, the, the project is, is, is going to, to make some change or to, to, to um, share with uh, people. But, but the actually, what I finally want, uh, what I finally look for is, uh, is you're gonna laugh with the with idea, but it's the happiness of the, of the, um, of the people that are going to in inhabit the, the houses. So you mm -hmm. include them in the design process? Of course, since the beginning. Even if they don't, it, it, it can happen that they don't have really an idea or an interest in, in uh, uh, becoming part of the process. But I, 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 uh, I force them. I force them. I, I, I cannot do a house like that uh, without, uh, without the core, which are the people that uh, are co uh, that are asking for the, for the house. Okay. Uh, and so do you think that somehow the, um, the scale also of the, o the, the objects you do, uh, it has also um, been an influence, like the fact, the fact that you're working in a, in a small scale, like you, you're doing these houses and somehow if you, if you m move towards a, a different program, you, you see these things in the same way in terms of... Well, in a different program, uh, it's probably more uh, difficult to work with... Um, with um like, sorry, in ter what I want to, to, to go is that, uh, for instance, you can, uh, nowadays, you, you have lo in lots of situations where you don't have a program, or, or al you almost don't have a program. Uh, so, uh, s somehow, how do, you, how do you see that? Do you, thi do you, do you think that some is still possible to, to do it? Like, when you do, a, for instance, a museum or like th things that somehow they lack, uh, like a very specific program, and they are open to, you know, because they are maybe cultural um, buildings or uh, maybe because they are m multifunctional uh, buildings, and, and you will define the program maybe in the future. Do you think this somehow is still possible? To do well, I, th you? I think I think you can. We can uh, also. Um, make architecture uh, or think of architecture as an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. and I, I don't see any problem with that. Uh, so, uh, because finally, I think it is an infrastructure, but infrastructure is a too much technical word mm -hmm. for uh, what I think architecture is. Architecture is uh, the, the superation of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, but finally, it is uh, a shelter for mm -hmm. uh, human activity. It doesn't matter if it is sleeping or if it is uh, showing a collection or, or the job, the work of an artist. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I don't, um, uh, I don't uh, see the architect as the, um, the great uh, illuminated author um, mm -hmm. uh, or th that knows what a museum in the 21st century must be. Mm -hmm. So he cannot be uh, he, him alone. Uh, uh, it, it must be a, a, a work done by, by several people. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm not talking about the other technic uh, technicians 
of the infra infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about cultural producers, for, for instance, in the, in the case of a museum, or um, or even the, the 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 municipality or whatever uh, or the institution that commands the the museum. There's always the client, mm -hmm. but um, but okay, uh, there's no problem if there is no program. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I think there's. Anyway, an ethical problem, which is the responsibility of the project uh, towards the public, to the public, something. the public, res uh, publica, uh, the public thing, uh, mm -hmm. not the public as a uh, uh, not public, the interest. Interest. The public interest. Yes, and can, can I uh, yes. just uh, 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 I think the, the only thing that I, I could agree with, with Pedro <laughs> is that architectural, uh, I have maybe a program aside or something else, but these, these, these kind of things are just a uh, pretext, just, just uh, a, a kind of basement point to, to, to actually think in, in architecture. Architecture could, could be further, mm -hmm. uh, uh, can, can go behind this, this kind of problems. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, the side, of course, is important, maybe to Maurice Borges, more important to Maurice Borges than to me. Mm -hmm. That's what he says, because if you see the works he does, they do, it's not true. It, it, it is true, it is true. Yeah. We, are, we are thinking uh, in, a th in a more way, I don't know. It's a kind of, in the beginning, our work is uh, just, just like a formula. Uh, of doing things, it's nothing more than this. And Pedro was seeing always in an idea of space, maybe, in an idea of uh, seeing something uh, further the beyond, the beyond the project mm -hmm. and beyond the, the, the building. So it's, but, but what, what I can, can say is that these kind of, of things, the side, the, the money too, are just uh, like starting points to do something, to think something, mm -hmm. and that's important. So maybe then I, so I'll, I'll ask you what I, because that was one of, of my questions for you, because uh, some uh, somehow this the, the distinction we we d we did uh, between you Pedro uh, and you Celia and Pedro Costa, <laughs> too many Pedros here in Portugal. That's another problem. And then is the is that actually somehow you also you. Uh, we think that you also some, somehow care, you care also about the site in physical terms, but not maybe in, t in, um, in what this site, uh, or you don't reinterpret, you, do, you don't do a reinterpretation of the site um, in, 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 the, in physical terms. You, you, you use it um, as material to, uh, to either attach or detach your volumes, your buildings, but you don't you don't see in it uh, the material for your language and for your expression, and you're you're going to, to you pick up your language and expression in this more conceptual uh, world. And this, this somehow, let me just finish and ask okay. you this question. So, what is exactly in in term when you start the, pro uh, the your uh, your projects? Uh, what is exactly the main your main concern in terms? So, uh, is the happiness like the most <laughs> no, of the it's person? Not happiness. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it's curious because we work in the same Portugal is a very small uh, mm -hmm. country, but we work in the same Iceland. Just I don't know why, mm -hmm. and uh, and but we never had uh, we never went to see the the, the sites mm -hmm. before doing the, the projects, and that's a big difference between me and maybe yes. uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because about <laughs> <laughs> no, I th the the most important thing to us is to 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 create a, a in internal logic of the process of doing architecture, mm -hmm. and then logic could could be expressed in terms of uh, internal space maybe, and have to do uh, have to do about uh, the, the project methods. And that kind of, of work, 
for us, it's more interesting than, than the, 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 the building itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the question is, we know there's, there's a side, of course. But we know that our building, it will change the size. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, and this is a question, who cares about the size in, in these terms? Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe uh, of course, we didn't get any fantastic side yet for working. Mm -hmm. So the sides are always suburbia uh, places or, so it's not important for us to work with this kind of physiological uh, landscape uh, uh, that uh, that is that that uh, that uh, it's be uh, it's nearby our buildings. Mm -hmm. It's it's more important to understand the the the, f the functional logic of the, the city and the the internal logic of the building to work. And mm -hmm. in this border, I think uh, our work can be explained more easily. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, but maybe uh, you said maybe Peter because I I didn't also told what I thought about, about them. But uh, well, they are, as Pedro was saying, all them are Pedro's, but mm -hmm. this Pedro was saying <laughs> that this Pedro, Pedro's. yeah. <laughs> and the Pedro, um, and the other guys from Mayus, that they, they are very young students, they just leave the university, and they become very visible uh, last year when they made a couple of competitions that they won. In Portugal, they won some prizes in Canada, <laughs> and uh, I don't know where. A lot of them, so you could speak about it. But uh, what was also interesting is that in uh, after the first prize, the media or some persons, uh, some important critics, begins to write about it in a very aggressive way, because apparently they, they seems to their work seems that they are going through a very liberal way, and the critic, the architectural critic in Portugal, is a very let's say, left-wing side. So uh, their work looked a kind of, uh, they understood it as a kind of a, of a joke, of aggression or a <coughs> provocation, when in fact they w what they try to do is precisely, let's say, create distorted utopias that could put a, thing, th a person's think about this, that exclusion of the, of the others, let's say. So they simulate these radiant, uh, happy spaces, that, mm, let's say, of late capitalism, where 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 um, excluded and included people could live in the same way. So the homeless are appropriating, uh, like parasites, the mechanisms of mercantilism to assure their own own shelter in that competition. Well, but the uh, the media began began become a little bit uh, uh, afraid of their work and begin to write something. Uh, but suddenly, and I think this is very interesting, uh, they invite them for, for a lot of things uh, in the country and they will represent Portugal in the UIA, that is the Union uh, International uh, Association of Urbanists in, in, in France, Glock and so on. So they, even if they try it, to leave the system, uh, the system of continuities and so on, let's say, the, as Pedro told in the interview, the critic seems to have an interest to include th those that want to keep to be to be uh, outside the system um, but uh, another thing that i think uh, is very interesting is that was precisely pedro uh, we just realized that that was the president of the jury that gave some of some prize to to AUZ. and uh, when the architecture of, of AUZ are like a critical to also to the mainstream itself um, is something that is not really to be built it's just images of, of uh, I would say, some provocation. If, even if they say say that they always assure that it's possible to build it. Uh, well, in fact, they all what they do is like a copy past clip of the of the of the same detail in all the comp competitions, and uh, and trying to disseminate as a kind of a parasite their 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 discourse. They use, let's say, if if Pedro use tries to create a space of fantasy in a real physical space. Uh, Ayuzeta tries to create, an, uh, let's say, a mediatical uh, fantasy space uh, that would um, <coughs> create this transformative idea that, that uh, Pedro Costa was, was talking about, this statical method of creating a building that could transform the place and not really care about the site, but could bring some transformations, cultural also. Uh, 
So, well, this was a little bit my idea because I think it's interesting that during the process of mount of uh, putting in place the exhibition, we realized that there were a lot of connections, that, like that one that that Pedro was in the jury that gave the prize to Fayoz. That was quite funny. But maybe Pedro, you could also, because I think I, I don't know, but uh, to be honest, you don't really have sites, right? You don't. No, you don't <laughs> First, so. we uh, in our project, ours is like uh, we can write uh, home in Portuguese, just ours, and we, if you read it in Portuguese, it's ours, like in English, so it's right. and it's like a. Uh, it's a merchandising of a project, so it's a commercial name of a project, and then we began, the first project we won, then we became doing something we call our project, that is not the only thing we do, so we did, did different things separately, so we work in our project sometimes at night and sometimes at, at morning, so <laughs> it's not, uh, so it's, it's a little bit different, because we're not, not so interested in what is architecture and uh, or what is the architect? So we uh, all born in '77, uh, <coughs> and we <laughs> did the the, the architecture uh, university, and we finished about the same year, and then we finish, and you, you, you and we find that uh, probably the site is not the most important and. Uh, there are some um, other things that uh, be, uh, turns the topography of the of the site very and very very more oblique and upside down sometimes. So what uh, we tried uh, first and uh, people and friends uh, still trying. Uh, what are you doing? So we still doing projects in some way, but the same project. Uh, it's not uh, okay. We have put some. We just made uh, some projects in uh, with, uh, in in different ways. So uh, it's a solution, uh, and uh, it's, it's simple. We, we did uh, exactly the same project as f from young last pupil to a uh, exhibition sp sp space. So one uh, could be. Uh, in different places in a city uh, connected with the transport system and uh, we did it uh, for uh, the same system so not in metallic structure but uh, just in skull folding structure for Canada in a, another place and it's okay. you should think uh, something that should happen on street not on the street level and uh, some thing up so you can see it from inside, from outside. It's not the same thing, uh, that, but is we work in the, in that idea. So, so in, in, in it's because uh, when we won the first prize, they say, "Oh, it's a good idea," and uh, we just realized the idea at the end because we at the end we did a system for for of furniture for homeless people. We start working with, and it's not good to be. On floor, it should be uh, yeah, different. It's not the same let's process. Let's, let's that's precise. Definitely, the content is not the program, because the program can change. Yes, so we were, you sh mm -hmm. we uh, we change the program. Mm -hmm. right? But you were you, it's, uh, it's you were telling me a very interesting history that you present the same comp same solution to to competitions, and the ministry or somewhere came to give the prize to both the competitions, and they don't really realize that was yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. It's, it's normal, you know, because there's not just the, the client that don't know not, nothing about uh, architecture and there's a cultural gap between and so, but the, what is interesting is that the clients, uh, you have the, the house, you use the house, but the, the, politi the political discourse can uh, uh, get inside the architectural discourse. Sometimes we see yeah. all working, and it's it's really good to see uh, on the television when you see that what that politically say is just some architect say say to him. I could not imagine what Pedro was uh, is thinking in this moment. No, no, but no, 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 no Pedro, Pedro Mauricio is thinking in this moment after giving uh, giving you the prize. No, you also <laughs> told me a very interesting thing the other day through the phone. I think 
that uh, I was asking you, did you see the article that they wrote uh, uh, against you? And you said, I don't care if it's uh, forward or against, it's just necessary that they talk about it. No, it's because, of, of course, it was uh, someone who is very important, but uh, you don't understand, because uh, you think architecture, so it's something that should be, should be built for a mass stream. And uh, it was interesting, so he, he thought, I would like uh, to see, he said that, I would like to see if that courtyard was uh, 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 do, uh, being doing in, uh, in all the city in big. So, but the project was exactly different from the the needs of the, the of the modern project. So, because in Portugal nowadays, it just we have to think uh, we have more house that the needs. Before uh, twenty years ago, we need about. Uh, Half, m half million houses. Now we have more houses than the needs. So uh, we don't need houses. So why, when I finish the, 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 the school, I think, well, I'm an architect, what can I do? In, in first, in sometimes, is we don't uh, think uh, what you do, uh, in we are not uh, uh, interested or uh, about what, or what you do, what we do is architecture or not. So. It's something we ha we try to do just what uh, for precisely uh, needs the homeless or some more something more general that is young people that needs house and should not uh, work a life to pay his house so it's okay it's a good program let's try what can we do. Why 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 you could say Pedro? Well, Pedro, why you could say? I don't, I'm no, I, I don't see any contradiction. So uh, for being for, for uh, mm. being in the jury that uh, <laughs> gave the award to their work, they work in, in they work in a precise site. A site, it's the public space of a city of a, all kind of city, but it's it's a public space. It's the it's the site of a homeless of a homeless. What is the site of a homeless? Every. Uh, Sidewalk, or uh, every every place where you can stay at the city. There's where they work. <laughs> <laughs> they have a good idea. I don't so know. I think architecture is always also a question of, of opportunity. There's always an opportunity in, in a project, and uh, most of the um, of the good projects have discovered the opportunity that was there. Sometimes the opportunity is in the topography, and uh, we have that uh, the paradigma. Do you say that in English? Paradigm. Mm -hmm. uh, the model of, of that is the um, the, the Capri house, the the, the, the house Malapart mm -hmm. in Capri of Livena. But you can also have uh, an, uh, other kinds of opportunities. Which can be, for instance, the, even the the, the <coughs> a bus stop or a, yes, a ephemeral uh, happening can be an opportunity for for shaping uh, other worlds, other image, for for doing from uh, a fantasy that has no place uh, to, to, to shape it, to do it. Do you think that uh, I don't know their work, but do you think that they are? Creating a solution to a problem rather than creating the building as a I think they are they creating the they problem. They, they are putting the problem. Their know how. how they, they, they get together two to know hows. We can say that. The architecture know hows because they, they design. And they are. Uh, they, they, do, they do spaces and they, they do measure. They, they gave measure to it and, uh, and a certain uh, uh, building system. They think about in the in the scale of the, of the city, uh, in the network, uh, connecting these uh, small spaces to the transport network. But they also do the, the the what's new in their work. It's not this. What's new? This is the good idea. But what is new is to maybe it's new. It, it is not new. It's uh, it, it remembers something of the situationist uh, critic of the me the media, which. Which is, they they in these uh, small spaces that go up uh, a bus station, a bus stop, for instance, they have the panels for publicity, and the publicity will pay the the homeless housing. 
uh, but publicity is, <laughs> is at the same time uh, what they use to sell their own product. So, and uh, Pedro started by saying it, uh, our project is a merchandising idea. It's a logo, it's a... So they're inside and outside, and, uh, and, I, and frankly, I don't see any problem. I like that ambiguity. If they do things with that, and they're in interesting, No, I just want uh, it's, it's uh, other idea completely different. I, I, I'm wondering uh, after after this exhibition, uh, and this is a question for you, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I want I want to know that. Uh, what is the main difference that you could say that main, the main difference between the Portuguese architecture, maybe, or the Portuguese way to do architecture, and uh, in, the, in the rest of the Europe? If there's any difference yet. No. I think there is, no, I don't know. I think there is no, no, no Portuguese architecture or whatever. But we certainly have, uh, 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 um, I think all the practices have a very pragmatical way of uh, without, wi with no means doing things and work with this. Um, they have no means. This lack of, of means. They have no means. <laughs> no, it's not your well, with 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 uh, with yeah. with no budgets, with no, with no conditions, <coughs> cultural conditions, with no um, technology, with no. Uh, but there, there's no. Know. That's no nothing different from other places. Well, right. from other places, and maybe from the, the Portuguese architecture from the 15th century, yeah. or from Caesar, or from sort of more. So what what is the changing? The, the, the changing now that is happening? I, I don't know this. <laughs> changing or not, I don't know. No, the, th the change that I think is was precisely that this reality that could be perceived in critical terms as a homogeneous way of practice it was exploding in different practices. And these young generations have to learn how to deal with another institutional condition that is a massive presence of architecture in the, in the country, not just in, in the capitals, let's say in the major cities. That is the progressive mediatization of the practice where um, the visibility of the architects have not just to do uh, with their, with what they are, they build or their present physical presence in the city and have also to do with um, uh, the multiplication of referentialities let's say cultural potentiality explosion also in schools. F uh, f 10 years ago, let's say, we just have, or have two schools in the country, so they talk about north and south uh, architecture. And today we have like, uh, I don't know, 12 or 14, 14 or whatever in a c very small country. So is uh, one of the schools I, I once wrote I once wrote an article when these schools are beginning, like eight years ago, and one of these schools was a, a room with uh, ten persons. This it's is the school. <laughs> no, I have six hundred persons, I think, right? It's, it's not just this building, it's uh, another. I know. <laughs> so, uh, what, I, what I think is happening is that, is that a, a change of, 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 uh, of of references and the, the necessity of these young gen uh, generations that have different agendas engage in different ways with this but new context sorry, of mediatization and so on. You. But you're talking just about Portugal. And uh, his, oh, question, okay. his question was compar uh, the comparison between what, what is Portugal now and the rest of the, the world, or the let's, stay, Europe, let's yeah. stay in Europe. And uh, I think ba basically, um, of course, you can you can you have lots of similarities, and I would say with other peripheral countries, and uh, and inside of the European Union, I think this is let's stay in the European Union for as a comparison. But then I think the main difference is always the timing, and uh, because Portugal has been uh, under development, and this the, this factor timing change in uh, in several aspects. And it has to do with the facility and like facility you ha you have to construct, and maybe <coughs> the, the 
the lack of emergence of the sophistication that you find in the in the centers, like in the main centers as this, the big cities, uh, as London, Paris, uh, Berlin, uh, that somehow they have the the, the when the, the the few moments they they have or they find to build something, it's ha it's always something that's, that is extremely iconic or it has to be extremely iconic. And in London, you have the case of Norman Foster that is basically doing all the buildings around, and uh, and somehow you, if you don't have this capacity to to build these icons and to to give this uh, aura of sophistication, you won't find the opportunities you have that you are lucky to have in Portugal or Ljubljana or Slovenia, Croatia, um, and so on. So I think this is the main difference. And what do you, what do you think then? Well, let's, well, I think that the change that we have mm -hmm. is not in the way of practice. So as you were saying, like no, but the other guys have the same uh, work with the same conditions or with the same state status, let's say. But what I think is, is that there are a rupture between the references and the world of ideas and the world of thought in the architecture in Portugal and the world of, of, of the possibilities to materialize it. So that's why, and Pedro, I think you should tell that in, the, in your interview, that's why a lot of res results look so artificial, so superficial, because there is a, a disruption between uh, the, the world of thought and referentialities, cultural referentialities, and the, w uh, the possibility of actualize that and that's why that I think the change is not in the way of practice, is in the institution itself, like the way that institution function, that function much more, um, uh, not as this idea of school, but much more with the idea of a, of a complex cultural artifact uh, that are led by economical and political reasons much more than for cultural uh, purposes. I don't know. No, but you but in, way, in a way, you can say that if, if, you, if you show a, a picture of his houses for for someone, you can say, oh, this is maybe this is from from Portugal. Maybe it's possible to say to say that yet about his work. I don't know if it's true or not. And I, I think so. I think so. And if you see their work, it's impossible to say. Maybe it's a Japanese guy or something like that. So, what 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 is happening right now? Uh, I think I have I have an idea that the, the, uh, maybe maybe these guys uh, study abroad or something like that. I don't know. No, it's starting to be, it's starting to uh, the people from Portugal starting to 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 now this is abroad to study. I don't know. I, I have I, this. I think that the idea that. Architecture is changing because you are more permeable to exterior references in Portugal. I, I think it's very simplistic. Because if you, I, exactly what we try to, to put this work is, is uh, in confront, in the same space, is of course the first image that you could have is like this, Pedro Mauricio, is a very institutional practice. And this practice is like critiquing this one. This is the most the initial uh, perception that you will have. But it's not this that we want to show. And the text would explain that, that. It's like that apparently it happens, but it's not uh, the, the reality. Because in another levels, like those ones that I'm talking about, the uh, engagement with the institution, for instance, in Pedro Ma Mauricio, uh, there are a rupture much bigger than, than, than Pedro Santos that just accept this, that the reality. So in, in for it's very uh, it's very rare to see Pedro doing a lecture I think or or uh, I, I know that it's very difficult to to have interviews and so on because you don't like these kind of media things and so on he told me I, I don't I don't go anywhere I I want to to be at home with my my children and so on I don't go to London anyway <laughs> so these kind of things and the guys from newspapers uh, always know it this is the thing. So in, the, in, a, in another levels, let's say, I think there are always ruptures in the three works. What we try to say, to put, is like, uh, in one level, there are w one of the three works are a rupture and the others are continuities. But in another level, it happens. 
because when we put your your work was precisely because in the methodological way of working we think that this is, this is a rupture through that way uh, in Portugal they they draw the design with this idea of a process that they are drawing and they are discovering the, the thing and I think that Pedro Mauricio is this way that he works and, and, <laughs> and I think that uh, the idea that you have is that you begin with ideas and you almost not draw or, or draw very, very just a little so I, I, why well, would but, you but I think it's very simple but to but say you must that agree that uh, is, is a kind of international idea about the Portuguese identity of architecture. Yeah, it's this Italy, quantum thing. For example, I don't so wha nice. what we are proposing is like a post-structural input on, on that because it is not useful anymore to characterize. When you have a more homogeneous practice of scissors and so on, you could say what is Portuguese architecture through an image. Today you could not see because it could looks like Pedro Morris that he is Portuguese architecture and in fact it has other inputs. That, that's our point. So analyzing more the performance of the institution <coughs> in the post-structural <coughs> way, much more than just analyzing a very structural and Marxist way as mm -hmm. from analyzed. This was the yes, because thing. if you see in uh, in one hand, you like there is this text uh, from Yehuda Safran in one of these uh, compendiums of uh, theoretical uh, texts of architecture, and he says that um, somehow he finds. Uh, a guy in China doing exactly what Caesar does. So it's, it's not that you recognize Pedro in, as a Portuguese, but it's more the fact that you, you also have already this image exported somewhere else. So somehow it's, it's just... This the, the, there's an image of Portuguese architecture in, in, in the world. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. course. The white thing but that's the also reducing, so it's always reducing somehow. Because even if you... If you if People like Manuel Menes that did, did, or people, other people that write about architecture Portuguese, they see always uh, the diversity inside, even if, if it's framed with a, a certain identity and way of doing that somehow is related with uh, the importance of drawing in the process, uh, the approach to site, all these questions that we've been talking about, and somehow, or the the, the type, the craftsman type of work you, you have. And that somehow, uh, of course, creates this identity. But it's not also, it's not this that uh, will, w that is exactly true inside, because now you have all, the, all these contaminations. And so I don't, I don't think you really can, can talk about uh, identity in the same way, because probably you have a more diagrammatic approach to architecture and it's more about the way you, you, you combine all these things to, to, to have a, a, a building with a, a, a certain expression. And it's not maybe exactly this kind of draw that, that, comes, that comes out in the process. But, while but, but there's, the there's a big, I, I think now on that there's a big problem in Portugal because there's a kind of institutionalization of a, a model of architecture. Mm -hmm. architecture. And if, if you if you go to a competition, you somehow know what what the jury which will be composed, and somehow you you know what would be the winner of the, the, the project. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind this this kind of institutional architecture is is killing maybe mm -hmm. other other possibilities of, of doing things. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, so. What what will what will happen now? Mm -hmm. And I think maybe Portuguese architecture will, will, will remain the same, maybe for maybe ten years more or something like that. I don't know. Well, this is the eternal fetish. Like that, uh, British guys al also have this fetish with high tech, right? For a lot of time, and a lot of architects could emerge. But I think that, of course, we have this fetish. When we, that's what, what I was saying. When we talk about Portuguese architecture, we talk about the, uh, Caesar work or these visi visible persons, and that's why we, we we include we translate this interview of Caesar because he is the institution made by the critic it's, uh, itself. Uh, the, the critic in Portugal made this this myth as they create another myth that have that they have nothing to do to the actual generation practice. Um, uh, well, I lose a little bit myself, but, um, well, Pedro. 
from the old system. No, I was thinking if it, it is uh, actually interesting for the audience to discuss uh, <laughs> if there's a sense for, well, well, yeah. for Let's go Portuguese for it. architecture yeah. or so. <coughs> but uh, and, uh, what was I was thinking about the pre pretext is that it is not really after all, it's not interesting if, if they're Portuguese or international or whatever. What, what really interests is that uh, good architecture is always a, an exercise of intelligence. And uh, sometimes that intelligence wants to show itself. Sometimes there are projects or there is an architecture that I can recognize that is good, that there's a, um, a, a brilliant exercise of, of thought but it shows so much itself that doesn't, it doesn't interest me anymore. I want an architect that we can inhab inhabit naturally. And that this naturality, it's, it's really somehow an extension of life. So you don't really notice architecture unless you want to see it. And uh, uh, in that, is this because sometimes this, the, the, the way architect has been approaching to artistic process of uh, making uh, as, uh, has been um, uh, valor valorizing the, the process and the methods. But we, don't, we still don't live in process or methods. We still need ceilings and windows. And uh, there, there's a place where we live. Well, I, so, I, I, I so hope and, and this, and the, but, but, what, but all this, what I want to say is that Anyway, we um, touch at universal, though I am the, the, the guy at the side <laughs> of the local, we touch uh, universal questions uh, when yeah. we do architecture. That's what I think. Well, I, I would agree with you when you say that the contribution of the, this kind of exhibition, and there were others that the exhibition team made previously on uh, uh, other countries, I don't know now. Slo Slovenia. Uh, or Slovenia and so on. <laughs> it's like uh, to show architectures in a state, a stage where they are really engaged with, uh, let's say, some things that the progressive digitization or, of architecture uh, had destroyed or are going to destroy slowly. So, and it's a effort of maintaining a certain credibility for the inhabiting of it, if you want. I don't know if it's possible to use this kind of words. But I will disagree completely like that, that this is the only thing that we have to do, because I think it's so valid uh, architecture that contributes to, to, uh, to, to this happiness that you talk about as an architect that, that just want to rupture and just want to critic the, the ways we think. And do when we when we, we ask the other practice it was just it was because of that like when we have such a mediatized thing like the work of well, I, I yes it's very easy to mediatize these images are so when we were discussing the the works with with IA, these images is, is well they are really very well to mediatize because they look nice they are nice but but it was interesting that when i spoke with them they said that they don't really about, they don't care about statics and so on. They, they is the pragmatics of the process that create these these rude appearance of the building itself and so on. So, and I use I use that uh, when when I saw their working. You were saying that this have a, me a measure. I will, Peter will become mad with me, but it don't have it at all. This is such a bluff that you could not imagine. But I think it's such a, <laughs> su it's such a. It's such an intelligent love, you know, that could critique the institution itself. So, for, well, maybe you, for, you, for you it's okay, but I, when I saw a lot of texts that appear criticizing it, I really realized the power that, the, that these kind of images could have. They will not, cha will not change the place as you change the island of source, but they will change, let's say, the ways of thinking of a community of architects that will go this, 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 um, this island. So I think that, he, and he, this is so important, this idea of uh, working other ways than, than build. And I will say that 
probably I think I, I, I'm not building for three years and I think that I'm doing architecture just writing my text. So, and I think that uh, you yes, could do architecture in a lot, lot of ways. You don't need to you build. You don't live in a text. Well, but this text could transform more your territory and course, your society than your no text, way. than yeah. your building. Of course. If, if, if you, you actually propose yourself to, to do architecture writing, okay. But if you sell your writing as a house, no. <laughs> That's what I'm Why? About. You could sell a program. If mm -hmm. it's so mar marvelous, a program could be architecture in itself. You sell the program. I did once that. They asked me for the disco and I sell a list of detergents to clean the, the place. And this was like the program. I sell it. And I think mm -hmm. this is architecture. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it isn't. It's an architecture that, that doesn't interest me. Yeah. yeah. Why you give the price to this guy? So. Mm -hmm. No, because they're not selling uh, something that. Um, well, I don't. I don't see them trying to shit to shit to to. I don't see where the bluff is. If they, it's quite obvious they're proposing. Uh, Spaces. Not really. Of course, they're proposing. A, it's a, It's an idea with the power of the image uh, uh, that uh, illustrate the idea. If it goes further than that, that would be great. I mean, if, if they built, if, if that could be um, uh, uh, tested in reality, that would be great. But it's the case where the, the existence in paper is enough. It has uh, uh, close sense, mm. so it's okay. And probably it's even more strong, because somehow what's interesting that in, their, in their work, as, as they were saying, is that the, right now you have so many homes. So uh, if you think uh, as an architect, so like questioning the very es essence of being an architect, like what's the purpose of being an architect? So somehow it, it leads an, uh, to a, another kind of work. And, so, and somehow it's stronger if you, actually if you don't build, because there is no reason to build. So somehow the critic becomes uh, effective the critic they're proposing somehow. Uh, so I think we have to... I, I think I would suggest to, to conclude and I don't know if if, if uh, somebody would like to say something we will be glad to... No. Okay, thank you very okay. much for your attention. Thanks. <laughs>